This administration is a miserable failure. It's like a comedy show. Joe Biden is unintentionally funny. It's kind of dark humor, but it really is hilarious as long as you see it through that lens. It is kind of like watching a movie, a great comedy show, a dark comedy show. Our next guest is an actor who always has savage takes on social media. He's been in a lot of movies, and maybe he can give us some insight. Actor and director Kevin Sorbo. Kevin, is the Biden administration a dark comedy? Um, it does provide, they are the gift that keeps giving. That's the way I look at it. It, it is pretty entertaining for me. And uh, I, I look at this, and you look at even Kamala Harris, the way she speaks as well, the repetition she uses in, in her wording, and you're going, is this the best we could possibly do? I mean, I left California three and a half years ago, thank God. I got the heck out of Dodge um, way before the old COVID thing happened where they could use that as more of a weapon to control us through fear. But uh, I, I, everything I heard about Kamala Harris uh, when I was in California is she was pretty much, you know, working her way up the food chain the old-fashioned way and uh, I think we all know what that means but anyway um, I'm just blown away by listening to either of these people talk because it is it is quite hilarious and entertaining and I post a lot of those things as you know Facebook took me down a year and a half ago for speaking the truth but uh, Twitter's got me going um, they haven't taken me down yet because I post just more sarcastic truth at the same time but um, they haven't attacked me yet yeah, Kamala Harris has been blowing a lot of people away, as you said, uh, repeating a lot of words. She has this weird tick oh, yeah. where she, like, says the same word again and again and again. But clearly the most classic moment is when Joe Biden couldn't figure out his own teleprompter cues. He read the, essentially, the stage directions directly off the prompter. I want to get you to react to this. You're someone who's used to reading stage directions. You know how to write a script. Check this out. <laughs> But the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women are not without electoral and or political or, or maybe precise. How, how <laughs> have, you, have you ever done this behind? on set? This is the most important question. Have you ever done this on set where you're like, grab the sword, strike down the hydra? You know what? There's a, there's a very popular meme of me during my Hercules years where people thought that I'd memorized the line and then I, I was supposed to say it in a disappointed way. And what had happened is <laughs> um, I yelled out the word disappointed and I did it on purpose. <laughs> and it was not in the script whatsoever, but people thought, oh my gosh, he was supposed to read that line in a disappointed way. And it just, <laughs> I, 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 I actually stole it from Kevin, um, Kevin Klein. It was in the, in the movie, A Fish Called Wanda, where he kept saying disappointed over and over again. And uh, I'm here at Freedom Fest, actually, so I'm going to meet John Cleese later today. But, uh, you know, he actually wrote that movie, A Fish Called Wanda. But I thought it was so funny. It's got like 20 million hits. Have your, have, have your people check it out. It's Hercules um, Disappointed. I think people will get a kick out of it. You got to follow Kevin on social media. You clearly saw this clip ping pong balling around on Twitter. What was your initial reaction when you saw Joe Biden uh, allegedly just read the stage directions? You know, he's done it before. That's not even the first time he's done it. And it just, it, 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 it on one hand, it's incredibly sad because we know that this guy is, there's something going on and uh, he's not all there. And it's pretty obvious that that's the case. I mean, they hit him in, uh, you know, they kept him in a bunker the whole time during the election year and told him, said, don't go out, Joe. We got this handled. We're not going to do it. It's not going to happen to you what happened to Hillary with the, uh... um, so here's the guy that they just hit. And it's amazing to me that this guy is our president. I lived in Europe for three and a half years. I lived in New Zealand for a long time, Australia. They're laughing at us. They're saying, are you kidding us? These are coming from socialist countries. <laughs> They're saying, you know, the, how, how crazy and weak our government has become. And, um, you know, this is where we're at right now. But we, we have to keep fighting the good fight. I love what you're doing. And uh, I think all of these pieces that we're putting together, that's why I'm here in Vegas for the Freedom Fest right now. I'm in a couple of panels, and I'm going to have a great time speaking the truth. And that's what we got to keep doing. Got to keep fighting. Yeah, what's the easiest way for conservatives to fight back right now? I mean, it seems like the culture wars have now been visited upon us, and yeah. conservatives often ceded ground when it came to movies, culture, commentary, entertainment, and now there seems to be a big push for that, as we've seen exactly what that means for us and our children. Uh, what are the easiest ways that you can see for conservatives to start making inroads in that profession? Obviously, you are one of the most famous members of that profession to be openly conservative. 
Uh, your thoughts? Uh, well, um, you know, I do I do movies that are opposite of Hollywood. I do movies that have you know love and laughter and faith and hope and redemption and truth. And I'm going to keep making movies that way. And we need that. We need that support. I don't have a three hundred million dollar budget to do the movies that I do, like they do for all these big movies that they do. Then they have a hundred million dollars to promote it. Um, I do movies like you know, God's Not Dead, What If, Let There Be Light. I've got three movies coming out this year. One of them is the Reagan movie, by the way. Dennis Quaid plays Reagan. I play his pastor in it. Got the other two movies coming out that uh, are, are that I directed. One's called Left Behind. Another one is called Miracle in East Texas. I hope people check these movies out. Great cast, great script. Um, go to sorbostudios.com, sorbostudios.com. Sign up and support us, guys, because Andrew Breitbart said it. It's been said before, but politics runs downstream from culture. Who runs the culture? Hollywood does. The mainstream media does. And we got a battle, guys. And I'm going to keep doing movies that are positive and uplifting, not ones that are negative. I just saw Top Gun. I would never give a plug for a big budget movie because of what the agendas they do. But this movie is awesome. This movie makes you stand up and be proud to be an American. I, I thought it was a great movie and I highly recommend it. Good. You like do you like the new Top Gun? I a lot of, like I think it has broad consensus. It's it's a really it's a really good movie. I saw it yesterday with my kids and it was uh, I, I was very impressed. I'd heard a lot of good things about it, and they said there's no political agenda in there. They're not going to push this or push that. It's just boom. This is what this is it. This is what made America what made America great. And uh, I, I got I walked out and said that's cool. That's that fits in with the kind of movies that I'm doing and want to do. Not that big a budget, but uh, you know it's the kind of movies that I want to keep doing. So I hope people go to SorboStudios.com and sign up. Kevin, uh, we certainly do uh, applaud you for the Reagan move. We're very excited about some of these new projects that you have coming. Please consider, in the coming years, the dark comedy called The Biden Administration. I think it'd be hilarious. I'd be happy to play Hunter Biden for you. Uh, you know, I, like, really, I love Parmesan cheese. So. Uh, Kevin okay. Sorbo, deeply appreciate your work. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for being on the program. Thank you. Nod to host and repeat the line. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 it's too funny.